My name is Wayne Harding. You're in the village in Slain, my family pub, for 33 years. We closed on the 15th of March, as all other pubs in the country did. It's devastating for family pubs to close because they are embedded in the community and respected by everybody within the community. They also give to the community as regards sponsorship. And we're, we have a very uncertain future ahead. We don't know where it's going. There's 50,000 jobs at stake throughout the country. And it was, it was reported this week that restaurants and cafes may be eased in restrictions at some stage in the future, but we don't know when. Pubs must be included in that. We let a certain amount of people into the pub um, at a given time. Uh, we don't allow people to go to the toilet in, uh, communally. Um, and we make sure that people sit down and, and take seats out of the pub so as that social distancing is ensured. It can be done, it will be hard, but it must be done in a formatted way and every public must have the same approach to it when they reopen. I think it's well known throughout the country that pubs are suffering anyway and it's well, well within our remit to include social distancing and reopen and be profitable. The insurance companies have more or less, we are insured for business disruption. That's clearly written in our policy. But the, the insurance companies are saying that um, not in this case. Like either you're insured for business disruption or you're not, but they will find a line. As they have treated many, many businesses and it's ongoing um, over the no last number of years. And they're no different now with the publicans when it's clearly obvious that we're closed and our business has been disrupted, but they're finding a way not to pay out.